All right, everybody. Uh, one of my most watched videos was when I did a almost uh, beginning to end complete house wash. So I'm going to do another one today. It's a small house, so I think I can be in and out in about 40 minutes. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to bring you along, show you what my routine is, my first job of the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and put my boots on here. Look at that. I think everybody knows what that is. I put some Silvadyne cream on, on those chem burns, but I was uh, doing a lot of wand work with my uh, doing some bleachers, and I'd laid down some chem, and it got up here, and I, uh, I switched from these boots to these boots and I didn't I didn't uh, well I changed my socks but I should have wiped my legs down and put some cream on it before I put them in the big boots but I didn't so anyway getting in my 03 Chevy truck we're gonna bring up uh, Mark 8 and we're going to go to, here's my job, arrival time. I've already seen how long it takes me to get there. It's 20 minutes. And so Mark Kate's going to say, I'm heading your way. Hello, this is Kenny, or this is Kenco Power Washing. We are heading your way. We'll be there in about 20 minutes. Feel free to reach out to us. Blah, blah, blah. Hit that. Customer is notified. I hit this map right there button this is all from the app 18 minutes so hit start and that's how I do it all right I'm here at the job what's weird is my GPS brought me in the back side there's only these blocks are only uh, they're real short there's only one house on each block instead of most blocks have two houses but anyway since it brought me in this way this is the side I'm going to wash it from Normally I'll park where I can pull the hoses off straight, but I can't do that. There's a car parked here. and I had to park in the grass so people can get through here anyway. So, and there's a painter in there. This is a renter. There, I just talked to the painter. He's parked out front, and it's no better parking up there either. It's a dead-end street too, just like this one. Um, so, first thing we do... So we don't forget to hook up the water I got a full tank this is my three-way valve this means full I'm gonna put on half when I leave here I just want to have half a tank so we'll pull off over this way I better check the time so we know how long it takes I noticed there's some there's some uh, pet paw prints on the front over here right there you see them so sometimes that doesn't come off with just a normal house wash and I have to get a brush out and uh, so if I was to brush this, I'd probably start here and go down because it's going to be a little darker because I'll be taking the oxidation off. Bad side here. All right. Let me uh, let me get some tape and a bag. I should have already had that. But here's my shower caps this is what I normally do I forgot to grab it get my pollock and tape some hair bags let's do one more walk around we're looking for places for water to get in oh something else these are half screens 
if, if they're half screens, you can move them up and down. And at least the ones I can reach, I'll give it a, you know, inch or two. That makes the, at least the lower level windows a little cleaner. Get that crap out of there. It don't take much. I definitely don't want to take them off and see if the, oh, there's, yeah, can't help that. Let's get this taped up here. I noticed these residential stainless steel handles, they have a coating on them and bleach don't seem to hurt them, but the commercial ones are like bare finish and the bleach will mess with them. So, ooh, that's broke anyway. See. Still ought to put some tape over those two right there. got a storm window on it it's, it's all rotted out okay looks good oh I should let me get my let me see what time it is okay so it's 1051 so I probably started taping the the um, locks off at 1045 so what I'm going to do is take a uh, before and after photo and a little trick to get your before photos looking th the worst it can is you need to wet this down. Just shoot it with a little water and it'll look twice as bad. And so there's, I've already marked here where I want to take my photo from so I get the same angle. So you see it now before water. And oh, I forgot my remote. Got to get my remote. And I normally would wear this hat, but I've got a hat cam on right now, so I'm not going to do that. So it takes about 35, 40 seconds for Kim to get in the line. So I'm going to go ahead and, and ask for Kim. So I've got 40 seconds of water just coming out. So I'm gonna Turn my bleach on to about, I mean, I'm going to shoot it a little bit hotter, maybe one and a half to two percent right in there. And I'm going to wet this and get my after before picture. this water so watch how that turns darker see how bad that looks now now I want to get my before picture the two windows in okay there's my before okay. I'm gonna go ahead and normally I'll pull all the way around to the back side of the house this house is so small I'm just gonna start here worst side this is the north side we gotta get some Kim out here Okay, so I, I'm starting to spray at, I, can't, I don't know if you can see it or not, 1057. So, 
there you go and if I wasn't talking and explaining I'd already be spraying There's my soap. Just like that. I'm shooting kind of up so I can get under that lip. You don't get under that lip like that, it won't get clean. Ask me how I know. Hit that gutter line. Underneath there, especially on the bad side. I mean, if there's hardly any mold and mildew on there, then you can get by shooting upwards. But since I know there's crap under there, I'm going to get down under there. But the window is pretty good. Back side of that. Now I've already hit that gutter once, I'm hitting it twice. And I'm gonna hit it three times before I'm done. She's already melting off. All right. if I can if it'll unreal this way I'm gonna go ahead and walk to the street with it just keep walking straight till you think you got enough to go around the house okay I don't have quite enough so I'm gonna pull some more I'm gonna go ahead and do it around that house too around the other side I'm at that should do it I'm gonna soap this whole thing one time and then rinse it one time winds blowing this way so I'm gonna be up here upstream of it hit that dance bout good you know, this side ain't as bad. So I'm not co real concerned about getting under there, under that lap lip. I know you're supposed to soak from top to, or bottom to top, but if you can follow your chem down, I don't see a difference. I know pioneers of this system used a pump up sprayer so they would have had to have start at the bottom and go to the top or they would have definitely had streaks I'm gonna hit that brick too but I'll I probably won't wrench it much gutter line it, three times what I look for two or three times now there's mail in that mailbox so I'm gonna go quickly over here hit that gutter again
that shutter brightened up already. Them windows good, get that gutter line again. Yep. Get that downspout both sides. Believe me, that's the easy. You can go around the whole house and end up missing one side of the downspouts. All right, the wind's blowing this way. I'm gonna try to get do it this way. Hung up. Hung up. Get down low. Get under there. Don't spend a lot of time soaping around your meters and electrical. You don't need a lot of chem. Well, you do on the gutters. I'm gonna hit that gutter line again. the back worst side let me wipe this off this is our worst side north side see what's happened oh yeah looking good so what I'm gonna do now is uh can't find my remote what I do with my remote Hmm. Oh, here it is. All right. So I'm going to turn that. Up. Turn this on here. Now I'm calling for water. So I'm calling for water early. Is it? Because I know I'm going to have 30 seconds of chem left in my hose. So I'm going to see. I'll put some on there. That's pretty green. I'm going to do that gutter line one last time. This will be three times on the gutter. Any place else I see needs touching up. Got a little bit of fallout up there. I'll go ahead and Missed it. Hit them windows again. They look pretty bad. Crap coming out of them. Hit that again. Works bad. Still got just a little bit more chem left. Was dirty up there. Okay. I should have water here pretty quickly. I just take a little bit and smell it. A little bit more. You can feel it too. All right, we got water now. We're gonna rinse top to bottom. Wind's blowing right in my face. Right in my face. You hit them gutters hard.
I'm gonna I'm gonna miss the soffit. Missed it. Don't shoot up in that crack right here. Don't do this. Missed your soffit. stain or concrete there. Miss so soft. Rinse good on each side right there. Get all that crap out of there. Still coming out. See, there's some there's some lichen on here. Well, that ain't lichen. That looked like lichen. Thought I seen some lichen on here. Anyway, lichen takes a little bit more pressure to rinse off. We hit that window last time. Run that on down. Hit that gutter again. We're rinsing. Get it hard. Open your gun up. Miss that soffit. Start doing the siding and windows. I'm pretty anal when I rinse. I don't like seeing anything come out. When you can't when you can't lift the screen up, work your trash back and forth like this. Still it runs clear. Still some crap. what that is. Mud dauber back there. Get off of there, trash. Miss those windows again. Every time I go back over it and I get close to a window, I'll miss it. Like this, just for good measure, since I'm here. 
a little spot right up there. Some trash. Miss that glass again. I know I spend more time rinsing than most people, but I think that's the most important thing. about done with this side still trash coming out all right I'm gonna miss the window again missed it That's caulking. That's caulking. This is dried out just a little bit. It's on the east side, the sun's hitting it, so I'm gonna just miss it real quick. Now I'm gonna start rinsing. might be liking miss that soffit. Sometimes you got to hit it harder if there's mud daubers in it.
kind of big for a shotgun fungus, artillery fungus. There's another one of them dots up there. Gone. Gone. Missed it down. Hit the window again. Missed it down. Some trash right there. Missed it down. Okay. That's drying out over there a little bit. Let me just hit it like this. That's how you do it. crafting those crevices on each side of the window. A lot of brown coming off that. A lot of dead coming off that. Mr. Down. Mr. Down. Keep going, there's a painter right there. A lot of brown coming off. Them windows. Cut right there in the in the metal. Painted trim coil there.
I don't know what that was, but she'd be gone now. Well, that's turned out pretty good. I'm going to give this inside door rinse. I think I forgot to shoot that with Kim. I don't remember, but it looks clean. I'll have to check the replay. Trash out there. Blow that trash out of there. Fit them windows again. Just like that. Miss them down. Some crap right there. See, those are holes right there in the siding. That's not. This is the one we're looking for. Missed it, missed that soffit. I mean, if you gotta shoot pressure at it, go ahead. Some crab. I hate it. 
hate it when that crap comes out after you walk around it. Pull my coat. I'm hung up. I'm hung up. <sighs> Had a coil hook around the corner. <sighs> All right. Something's caught. About as far as I can go. crap in there. Blew a bunch of crap this way on the siding where I just rinsed. Stain or paint. I don't know why there would be any of that back here. Oh, maybe from the shutters, I don't know. This side rinsed really well. Not much. Other than that, stain rinsed off good. See, this is what drives me crazy coming out it's all just messed up yeah recheck my rinsing can't get it all I used to think you could rinse it all off but you can't there's some I'm just getting the obvious stuff that's seeped out. Just come down here. Some seeped out right there. You want to make sure your front, right around the door especially, is good. Now, trash comes out on that, you're not going to see it. So I'm going to miss the windows again. For a semi no streak job. Go another walk around. Looks good. Oh. Yeah. 
cleaned up nice. Alright, clean my lens off. Come back over to my stick. Take the after picture. You want to take your after picture and your before picture when the siding's wet. So that's going to do it on that one. Let's see what time it is right now. It's 11:34. So I'm going to go around and take my tape off. I'll take you on that. We're down to half a tank of water. So what I do to, to keep the back pressure off my hose when I go to take it off at the house, I'll put it up here on full tank and that'll relieve any pressure that's on that garden hose. I'm just gonna leave those screens up. Now we don't have any pressure here. If you don't do that, man, you get squirted pretty good. If you're ready for it, it's one thing. So, Take this tape off. I didn't put anything around there. I'm gonna grab my hose in the middle like this and walk it back that way you pull more hose get it out here in front like that my tape I put my glove right here this is a cut resistant glove and if you ever get a nick in your hose and your hands are wet and they're softer than a baby's ass, you'll know why you need to wear a glove. Uh oh, got a wild one there. All right, I'll take care of it. Oh, come on. There it is. There. See my... Remember these? These have gone at least two years. No problems. I did have one switch. That switch went out. in let's see I'm gonna come down here and instead of walking all the way around grabbing that hose at the end grab it in the middle grab it in the middle Make sure your cam locks are, uh oh, it's right there, got to make sure you don't lose that. My son just puts it in his pocket, but I don't, I can see why I should. All right, so uh, <clears throat> we did a walk around already, pin my glove back up here. Yeah. And I always go around and check everything's locked in place. Lights off. Everything's secure. I didn't use any brushes. Toolbox good. Okay. So, got my before and afters. I'm going to, I need to put a sign in the front.
Okay, so I'm copying the Facebook guru of pressure washing. The Fresh Rinse. Mike's pressure washing. Uh, I don't leave my sign in that position, but I get down here, take that picture with my sign in there. Up a little bit. I gotta get back a little bit farther. Get the whole house in. There we go. Say cheese. Boom. Okay. So then I take this and I do put it in the front yard. Since it's a dead end street, I'm gonna put it this side. I mean, you know, not in the middle of the yard. I try to put it if there's a if there's a tree in the front yard, I try to go in front of the tree to block it from like their kitchen window so they're not looking out and going, we gotta get rid of that sign, Margaret. Since this is a rental house, I don't think it's gonna make a big difference, but you know, I got potential one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven potentials. Oh, that house is really bad on the front. Now I used to do a five around, leave my business car, card hanger, door hanger, and I'd put a price on it. I got that many. I probably did, I don't know, 100, at least 100, and I got that many calls, so I don't even do it. In fact, sometimes, sometimes I would give somebody such a great deal, I'm, I would think in my head, how are they turning that down when they answer the door? But they do. Um, I think people will call you on their own terms. So uh, I think I'm gonna put a sign back here too, because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight houses back here, and that one's really dirty on the front. You can see it. I'll walk around here. A lot of potential back here. You see it. So. I'm gonna put a sign back here. Kind of weird how one house has a street on each side of it. All right. Put it up this way. Put it up far enough that those houses can look down here and go, oh, is that house for sale? No, it, it's just a house washer. Put it right on the line. Oh, rocks. Okay, that's going to work. All right. Dudes, I think those signs cost me $5, right around $5, $4.50 or $5 a piece. And it just takes one house wash to uh, pay for a bunch of them. Um, the biggest contract and reoccurring contract that I ever got was off of a yard sign. So, all right, let's get in here and see. Now, I could have done this faster if I hadn't been narrating. So it's 11.43, right there. So, um, let me take you back into my CRM, Mark 8. So I'm done. Let me. I'm gonna wipe the lens off. I don't know if it's dirty or not. Okay. I'm in Mark 8. It's got the house up that I'm on. So I'm gonna go over here and hit complete. And that will notify the customer. Notify customer about work completion. Hey, we're pleased to inform you Kenco Power Washing has successfully completed the work. Thanks. We're gonna send that. Work order completed, okay? Now, it generates an invoice, pay now or send. So I can make adjustments on here. Let's say I, I had a $50 extra or whatever, agreed upon, you know, anything like that or a discount, I can go ahead and do this. So now I'm just gonna go ahead, everything's fine. Right here you see $295, what I charged, um, 20 minutes from my house, so, you know, I could do 10 of those every day. I don't, I, you know, I don't have that much work, but you could. 
a lot of people do, but I don't. Anyway, uh, hit send. It says send it to this gal here. Next, yeah. Up here tells me it's going to be a text notification, and then I got a button up here. I think Marquette should uh, that button should be highlighted like um, bold and bright. It almost looks like you can't push on it, but you do. Send. Confirmation invoice have been sent to Patra. And then down here, done. So now, she has been notified that the job is done and follow right up behind it with an invoice. And so we are at 11.45. So beginning to end, me talking, that job was exactly an hour. So I gotta get my air on, man. I'm just, it's probably 95 degrees right now in, in Missouri. So um, anyway, I'll get me a drink of water. I gotta back out of this street and uh, I'll see you on the next job. Please like and subscribe. You got any questions? I mean, I went through the whole thing. There was a couple of, you know, uh, times I cut away because I was trying to get my thoughts together on what I was going to say, but uh, I'm going to try not to edit this, you know, much. So uh, sorry if I, if you guys already know all this stuff and, you know, fought your way through a whole hour of video. Props to you, people that's just learning. Maybe you can pick up some, some tips. Um, anyway. Like I said, like and subscribe. See you on the next video. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Talk to you later.